here at Cloud Gallery for Chinese artist Han Wenjie's solo exhibition, Scenes. A parked car late at night, a blackboard lying in front of the trees, a building standing tall along among the dim light. All of the artworks on display at Scenes are delivered of saturated colors and murky lighting. While none of the pieces display human figures, you can still detect a human's presence and interaction with the nature world. I want to represent the connection between human and the natural world. There's no pure nature in the world because humans get too involved. Let's say a parked car in the woods. Even without a human figure in frame, you can still tell the car must be parked by someone. So there's still human engagement within the scene. I'm interested in this kind of contrast between human beings and the natural world. I started my photographs and paintings without a specific plan or a color tone because I liked the way things originally look. And after several series of my artworks, I realized murky and saturated colors can better represent my thoughts and emotion. I keep developing artworks in such dark and saturated colors because I want to keep the feeling and make it last long. Han Wenjie majored in oil painting and currently working as a photographer in New York City. While he still has the passion for both art forms, he is now all about capturing moments that make an impact on him. He believes that as long as the moment can be memorized and the emotion can be preserved, every medium can illustrate the connection between the human and natural world. Though there are some differences between painting and photography in the ways of processing, both can illustrate my thoughts on the relationship between humans and the natural world. Since I double majored in painting and photography, I believe I can take advantage of the two processes and represent my thoughts as best as possible. Audience members explain Hans' work impacted them at a show. From his work, we rarely see human figures, but we can feel the presence of human activities. Regarding his busy schedule with, you know, commercial activities, he still uh, insists on, um, you know, chasing this art artist dream. So I'm really happy that he had this uh, solo show in New York City for the first time. I can see his deep consideration about what is happening around us. I appreciate his consideration of these problems and the willingness to represent these issues and states in his works. For more information from Sinovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sinovision.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Vicky Young.